Our immune system has its own form of higher education. Immature cells go through a rigorous development and selection process in a specialized organ called the thymus. Once these cells leave the thymus, they are called T cells. They have a unique ability to recognize and fight cells infected by viruses and cancer while leaving normal cells alone. As we age, the thymus slowly shrinks and shuts down. It becomes less and less able to accommodate cellular students, and the graduating class shrinks, leaving the body unprepared for battle against viruses and cancer. But what if there were a way to restore or replace a depleted thymus? Donated organs could be processed, leaving a biological scaffold that would be seeded by cells derived from a recipient's own bone marrow stem cells. These cells would multiply and receive cues from the structure of the scaffold that would guide them to form a new rejection-proof organ. The new thymus would be ready to train a new cohort of the recipient's own immature cells, returning the immune system to its former strength.